Hello, everybody. Welcome. How's everybody doing? Let's wait for more people to come in. Who else I'll be talking to myself? Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome back. We're having an amazing day here. Because um, cause it snowed this morning. I set my alarm and then um, I opened my eyes trying to stop my alarm. And then I saw on the phone, because it shows the weather on my phone, on the lock screen. And then I saw that like this no um, little icon and then i immediately opened the curtains trying to see what's going on and then it was like all white it was all white outside hello eugene is this snowing where you are now it was snowing this morning wasn't it and then it was like completely white like all the cars and all the all the roofs and like all the like it's all over the ground and it's all over the park because there's a park right next to where i live and then we went outside it's like it's is is an amazing day great eugene did you have fun did you build a snowman i tried building a snowman but then i lost patience because i have no patience whatsoever with myself i have patience with kids i don't know why but i have no patience with myself but because I was trying to build a snowman and then I lost patience. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do snow snowball fights now. But I saw other people's um snowman. I'm I'm not sure if you can try. I'm just gonna show you the pictures I took on my phone. Um it's not clear enough. No, it's reflective. But uh it's just like a huge snowman, like taller than taller than I am. And I'm see. I'm, I can see if I can show you. Um, maybe I'll show you later on. I'll like. I'll. I'll do put them all together in a post, and then it was wonderful. Snow angel. I did a snow angel too. And then my hand, everything. It was like all wet. My hair was like dripping. Yay! Snow profile. Love it. Great. Yeah. Like I was. I was so surprised. Like opened the curtains. It was like ah, because like last time like a couple of weeks ago it snowed a bit but it was like you woke up and then saw the snow but then this time we woke up and then it was still snowing and it was like pretty heavy so like the first thing we did was like just got changed and just ran out with the snow so like excuse my bed my bed i'm just gonna cover my bed so you won't be able to see because <laughs> my bed is still not made because we just like ran out and um played with the snow immediately like we just just brush our teeth and immediately ran out it was it was so much fun um do you hear this difference because i'm trying to like use my new mic um i got this new mic and so i was trying to test if the sound quality is a little bit better i've heard people told me that um it's more crisp so I would love that if the sound quality is better. I actually don't think the original sound quality of my um, laptop mic is um, too much of a difference, but but just it feels better that now that I have like a better microphone. Yes, Hayden, I did um, make her snowman. Um, no, I actually I tried to, I tried to. I make like a huge lump of snow, like not even a ball like just a big lump of snow and then um i tried and then i lost patience i couldn't i was like is the it took too long to actually um finish the whole snowman so i took picture with a snowman that someone else made <laughs> someone else put a scarf on it and a beanie on it and then we just went and took a photo with someone else's snowman but i did um like i did play snow angel and um we did snowball fights so it was really fun it was really really fun um it's starting the snow is starting to melt i can see from the roof but we had we had a good morning so that's good enough so yeah hello janice who else is here say hello what are you saying no about katie uh, 
So today we're going to read the book on a beautiful snowy day. We're going to read the book. One of my favorites. We're going to read um, The Day the Crayons Quit. Just going to share my screen. Share screen. Okay. There we go. Can you see it? So we are going to read The Day the Crayons Left. Have you ever read this book before? It's all right. If you've read it before, um, we can read it again because it's a lovely book. I guess some of you would agree that it's a lovely book, isn't it? All right. So The Day the Crayons Left. Let's go keep pictures as well. Oh, we've got a bunch of letters to Duncan. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. Who written him some letters? Who's written him some letters? So he opened one of them and it was all red. And so the letter read, Hey, Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out coloring fire engines and apples and strawberries and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. I have to color all the centaurs at Christmas and all the hearts at von valentine's day i need a rest hi kelvin <laughs> hi kelvin um you're overworked friend red crayon so red crayon is saying that he needed a rest because he's doing a lot and he's pretty tired right well most of the times for you, for daddy and mommy, they have holidays off, right? Christmas, they have it off. Chinese New Year's coming up, so they will have some days off. But for red crayons, uh-uh, red crayons does not rest because so many things are red and he needs to work. And maybe Duncan loves drawing. And so he opens another letter. Dear Duncan, all right. Listen, I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes and dragons and wizards hats. But it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. <laughs> see, look at maybe like, it's not actually a lot. Uh, if you can see on the, on the dragon, it goes out of the lines on the uh, wizard's cloak as well. If you don't start coloring inside the line soon, I'm going to completely lose it. I'm going to go crazy. You're a very neat friend, purple crayon. Right? So red crayon is tired and purple crayon is a very, very neat. Right? Purple crayons, purple crayon likes to stay inside the line. He li likes following the rules. So each crayon has a different personality. And so he opened another crayon. Uh, sorry, he opened another letter. And then the letter says, Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I'm neither. I am beige and I'm proud. I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair that Brown gets all the bears and ponies and puppies, while the only things I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky, and wheat. And let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? Oh, look at beige. How is Beige feeling? He's a bit disappointed. He's a bit upset. So red color is very tired, but because he's been used so much, 
But Beige Color is upset because he's not been used enough. He he would love to have more love from Duncan, right? Your beige friend, beige crayon. So beige crayon would really want to have some more use out of himself. Poor beige. So he opened another letter. Duncan, gray crayon. Here, you're killing me. I know you love elephants, and I know that elephants are gray. But that's a lot of space to color in all by myself. And don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling one of those things? Such big, huge, gigantic, enormous animals. Baby penguins are gray, you know. Maybe sometimes you can draw baby penguins and color, color, color the baby penguins in with me. So our very tiny cold pebbles. How about one of those ones in a while to give me a break? Your very tired friend, gray crayon. So just like the red crayon, the gray crayon is getting tired because he's being used so much, especially on huge animals like elephants and whales and rhinos and hippos, right? Because these are huge animals. And when you color it in, you need to use a lot of that color. All right, so he opened the next letter. Dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? Most of the time, I am the same color as the page, and you are using me on white. I, If I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color snow or to fill an empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, white crayon. So white crayon is feeling so empty because is 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 he is he much used to cry uh, to Duncan? No. See, he says like the page is usually white, so you don't even need me, right? If you don't have a black outline you don't even see you can't even see i'm there says white crayon hmm poor white crayon so he opened another letter hi duncan i hate being used to draw the outline of things things that are colored in by other colors i'm black and i'm only the outline all of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in the colors of the ball with all the other crayons. How about a, bee, a black beach ball sometime, eh? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, black crayon. Because a lot of the times we use black for the outline, right? And so um, Black Crone is saying, I'm tired of only being used as the outline. So the next letter is from the green crayon, as you can tell. Dear Duncan, as green crayon, I'm writing for two reasons. One is to say that I like my workloads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problem and wish to congratulate you on a very successful coloring things green career so far. The second reason I write is for my friends, yellow crayon and orange crayon, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Hello, Dev. Oh, is it Yo-Yo? Hello, welcome. Your happy friend, Green Crayon. So Green Crayon is have, having happy life, right? Unlike Red Crayon, who's tired, black, uh, who else? Uh, and then Purple Crayon, who's upset about how Duncan draws out of the lines. 
and then white crayons who's empty black crayon who's unhappy that he's only being used for the outline well unlike all of them green crayon is actually quite happy that's a good thing but he raised an issue what's up with the yellow crayon and orange crayon what's up with them are they having a fight yes they're having a fight they're not talking to each other all right can you see the words the yellow words are a bit difficult to see so this is a letter from yellow crayon well as green crayon mentioned he's in a fight with orange crayon yeah let's see what he wrote dear duncan yellow crayon here i need you to tell orange crayon that i am the color of the sun i would tell him that but we're no longer speaking to each other because we are in a fight all i can prove and i can prove i'm the color of the sun too last tuesday you used me to color in the sun in your happy farm coloring book in case you've forgotten it's on page seven you can't miss me i'm shining down brilliantly on a field of yellow corn your pal and the true color of the sun yellow crayon so yellow crayon thinks that he is the color of the sun would orange crayon agree no i don't think orange crayon would agree yeah no we have to duplicate so here is a letter from orange crayon dear duncan i see yellow crayon already talked to you the big whiner always complaining about things anyway could you please tell mr tattletale that he is not the color of the sun i would i would talk to him but we're no longer speaking we're in a fight we both know i'm clearly the color of the sun because on thursday you used me to color the sun on both the monkey island and the meet the zookeeper pages in your day at the zoo coloring book orange you glad i'm here ha huh your pal and the real color of the sun orange crayon so basically yellow crayon thinks he is the true color of the sun and then orange crayon also thinks that he's the true color of the sun hmm. who do you think is right or the, do you think it matters who is the true color of the sun next we have the blue crayon dear duncan it has been great being your favorite color this past year and the year before and the year before that i have really enjoyed all those oceans and lakes and rivers and raindrops rain clouds and clear skies but the bad news is that i am so short and stubby i can't see look at the blue crayon over here Yay, yeah, it's finally blue. Oh, it's my favorite color, blue. Blue is my favorite color, too. Uh oh, let's wait for a bit. It's not loading white. Okay, it's my computer. Okay, it's working. All right, I think the internet kind of went down for a few seconds. All right, so we're back. We're back. All right sorry about that technical internet issue all right so this is the blue crayon and you can see this blue crayon is pretty short now has it been used a lot you think well definitely there's only way how he's so short now well other than he might have fallen off the table and cracked so dear duncan it's been great being your favorite color this past year just like me but he's been the favorite color the past year and then the year before that and then the year before that as well i have really enjoyed all those oceans and skies and raindrops and rain clouds and clear skies but the bad news is that i'm so short and stubby i can't even see over the railing in the crayon box anymore i need a break your very stubby friend blue crayon blue crayon is so tiny now because he's been used to so much and then we've got pink crayon. Do we have um, anybody here whose favorite color is pink? Well, my favorite color is blue. 
So letter read, Duncan. Okay, listen here, kiddo. You have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think I'm a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to color in her pretty princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now back to us. Could you please use me sometime to color in the occasional pink dinosaur or monster or cowboy? Goodness knows they could use a splash of color. Your unused friend, pink crayon. So who is who has been using the pink crayon? Is it Duncan or Duncan's sister? Duncan's sister only. Has Duncan used the pink crayon this year at all? No, because he says, you have not used me once in the past year never you've never duncan's has never used the pink crayon for the whole year oh well do you think pink is the girl's color well definitely for me i don't think so i like blue i don't like pink i like blue i don't think i don't think pink is a girl's color pink can be a boy's color as long as you like it i mean it doesn't matter it doesn't matter right if you're a boy you can like pink if you're a boy you can wear a pink shirt well you can you can use pink to draw right you can well it doesn't matter you can have a pink cushion right as long as you like it there's nothing such as a boy's color or a girl's color no i don't think so so here hey duncan it's me peach crayon why did you peel off my paper wrapping now i am naked i'm not wearing anything i'm too embarrassed to leave the crayon box i don't even have any underwear how would you like to go to school naked without wearing anything at all i need some clothes please help me your naked friend peach crayon Oh, now why do you think that the peach crayon is naked? Why do you think Duncan peeled off um, her or his, his paper wrapping? Why? Why do you think so? Huh? Do you think he was like naughty? Or do you think it was just for fun? Should he have done it? How do you think he can fix the problem? How do you think he can fix the problem? Let me know. Can he get another piece of paper, like um, some gift wrapping paper or anything like that? Do you think so? And then he can just use some glue. He could use some glue, put it on. Give him some clothes. That might be a good idea. the connection okay i feel like the connection is not really good today is it my computer's running really and then it's making a lot of noise out of the fan then i'm gonna turn off the music to lighten the load for my computer guys can you hear me properly Yeah, yeah, Hayden, yeah, do some paper wrapping. Good, that's a good idea. We've got two Haydens here. Then Hayden Choi thinks he should make some clothes for Peach Crayon. Yeah, how do you think you can make some clothes? With, with what? Could you do it with your clothes, Hayden? Can you make, make Peach Crayon some clothes with your clothes? Maybe with your, see, because Peach Crayon is naked and he said that he didn't even have underwear. Maybe then he could, maybe you could use your underwear, cut it up, and then give it to Peach Crayon. What'd you say? Thank you, Janice. Thank you. Yeah, great. I've turned off the music to lighten the load. I think my computer's running really slow. Yeah, maybe, hey, then maybe you can use your underwear. <laughs> All right. 
So, well, look at all these letters from all the crayons. Well, poor Duncan just wanted to color and of course he wanted his crayons to be happy. So that gave him an idea. With a paper, Hayden, not with your underwear. You can use your panties. Can use your un un underpants. Just make sure they're clean, yeah? <laughs> All right. So when Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him a good work sticker for coloring. We've got, what can you see on this picture? We've got a purple dragon, a black rainbow. What color is the sun? Remember that debate between the real color, the true color of the sun? What color is the sun in this picture? We've got a brown bear. We've got, is it a dark pink purplish pony? We've got a white cat in a green ocean. We've got a... Um, We've got a whale, a, an orange whale. We've got tiny little penguins. We've, what else have we got? We've got Santa on a boat. We've got little hearts everywhere. We've got a doggy. You see the doggies right here. Then we've got a ship and then this elephant that's struggling. Bananas and what's that? Do you think that's pet? Mm, pet? apple juggling you've got a wizard with a green hat oh white white color has some use for the beard yeah and then the sun and then you get the sun and then you get the sky the sky is yellow and the sun is orange do you believe okay let's have a vote and tell me in the comments whether you think we should use orange or yellow for our sun when you draw do you put orange or yellow for your sun can you um let me know we can see whether orange or yellow would win the fight and then it was raining a tiny little bit of rain cloud over here on top of the whale right all right, what do you think about this picture? I like that because there's a lot of play with colors. See, um, well, someone thinks is the sun should be orange, yeah? Um, I don't know for me. Well, but, well, uh, two people think the sun is orange. Hayden, you think the sun should be yellow and orange. Which parts of it should be yellow and which parts of it should be orange? Do you think the sun itself is orange, the rays are yellow, or the sun itself is yellow and then the race should be orange what do you think well we can go into a huge debate about whether the sun should be uh, colored orange or yellow on the picture hello parker hello welcome i'm sorry we're towards the end of the story but you can rewatch it um we're having a very fun story about crayons and um i'm super excited about today because it was raining in the morning so um you can tell i'm like very excited i'm in a very very good mood today so i can't stop talking <laughs> so um hayden yim thinks the sun should be orange and the moon should, should be blue yeah all right up to you your um your picture however you like right and finally you see on this picture pink Pink is finally being of use. Pink is finally used because in the letter, I remember that the pink crayon said that um, Duncan never used it once the whole entire year. So I'm happy that pink got to be used today. And then a lot of play with colors. The, uh, the sky is yellow and then the ocean is green, right? I love it. It's a very uh, lovely, lively, colorful picture. Loving it. All right. What about your picture? Have you ever colored anything um, that colorful? Well, if you want, you can show me a picture of some of your favorite drawings in the comment box. Um, upload a photo and then I can see how you draw, how you color, whether you are staying in within the lines and stuff like that. What do you think about this story today, guys? You like it? 
It's going to stop the screen share. Then it will come back here. How do you think about the story today? Have you guys enjoyed it? Like it? Yeah, I think it's pretty funny. It's quite interesting. They play with the colors and there's the fight about some of the other crayons as well. I love it. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you guys have enjoyed it today. And yeah, I will later on, I will upload some pictures. Yeah, it's very funny. Later on, I'll upload some pictures about like this snowy weather about today. Stay tuned. I'll try and upload it in like 15 minutes so you'll be able to see it very soon. He used peach in the picture, yeah. Great. And do you think he must he must have fixed um fixed peach, given him some clothes to wear or her? Yeah, it's a very funny story. I love it. I, I love it. I love it. Um, do you have the real uh, book in your home? If you do, you can read it again later on, or maybe you can write some letters to your crayons. You can look at your crayons and see whether you have got like some very tiring crayons, some very empty crayons, some naked crayons, um, some crayons that's not used, some unused crayons. You can take a look. You can bring your crayons, take a look and see which are the crayons that are tired, which are the crayons that are unused. So you can give them some love. You can also perhaps like write a letter to your crayons, right? Just to see how they're doing, whether there's anything else that they need. Maybe they need um, some love, some new clothes, right? And then you can, you know, care for them just like mommy cares for all of you. All right, I've been talking a lot. I've, I've used up so much of my energy after my energy run in the snow this morning with the snowboard fight and running around in the snow. It was so much fun. But um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, this book for today. And next week, we shall come back with another storytelling on sunday at 8 p.m hong kong time all right if you've enjoyed the story feel free to leave a comment here like the video share the video with some of your friends and we can all enjoy reading together all right that's all for today i hope that this new microphone is treating me well and you guys are enjoying my voice and my lovely audio let me know if you think that um this microphone is doing a better job than usually all right i made a i didn't make a snowman um i took a picture with a snowman that someone else <laughs> someone else made i'll i'll send you a photo hated I'll, I'll send you a photo right now but i did snow angel and then um i did snow angel and i just i played uh like snowball fights but i took a photo with someone else's snowman and it was like really big it was it was even taller than me it was taller than me and then but then it was like the first time that it was like snowing that much. Like remember the other day it was snowing too, but the other day it was, I think it was like two weeks ago it was snowing too, yeah? Maybe a month, it might have been a month ago. But it was, last time it was snowing um, during the night. So we woke up and saw the snow, but this time it was like actually still snowing when we woke up. So we just like ran, literally ran out the door just run into it like just got changed and ran out without even like making my bed or having breakfast or anything so it was it was very very exciting um i po I, I will post some uh videos some photos on the page later on so you guys can see it's amazing i've never um because i've never been to japan i've never been to korea the last time i went to scandinavian countries like denmark and sweden it was in the summer and then um when i went to the uk before it was like winter but it wasn't snowing because in london and like around the area even in oxford it doesn't really snow much i think it was like only once in a few years that it snow 
and it's a lucky year so we've had like this is my first time seeing like that much snow when i step on it it's like the snow was must have been like this thick i think yeah and so um i hope um you guys have enjoyed this story and i will see you guys next week with a new story on sunday 8 p.m all right Bye-bye, guys. Have a good evening. All right. Have a good evening. See you, guys. Hello, and so I'm sorry. We have already finished the story. Um, Today, we read um the day the crayons quit. I'm not sure if you have that story, Anton. But once I finish this live, the video will be uploaded on the page. So you'll be able to watch it again in like five minutes. All right. I will see you guys again next Sunday at 8 p.m. Hong Kong time. Bye.